hi um thanks for tuning in thanks for coming back to see my first plant haul of the new year um yeah so i went out this morning first thing and i decided that i wanted to go to a couple of lows and see what they have Lowe's usually updates their plants on Thursday and today is Wednesday. So I wasn't, I didn't have high expectations, but for anything other than clearance. And I visit two Lowe's and the two Lowe's that I visit, both of them were um, doing some serious let's bring the spring in work. So they really didn't have a lot coming on, but that just tells me, I think I'm going to make a special trip back there tomorrow. But anyway, let's start it off right. Okay. So, um, for the naysayers, it is around almost 11 o'clock in the morning um, or early afternoon. Let's call it brunch. Let's call it 12 o'clock somewhere. Because if you watched my, la my latest video, I told you guys I picked up um, some rosé, some sparkling wine rosé. And I was going to drink it today on my day off. And I don't care that it's 11 o'clock in the morning. I want to taste this. I want to see what it tastes like. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to open this up real quick and then taste this and then we're gonna get started on this plant haul because my goal is to keep this video under eight minutes so let's see if I can do that okay so here we go I'm a professional <laughs> I know how to take it off so Smells good. Oh, it smells good. All right, so this is a sparkling rose. Um, oh, <laughs> it's from Italy. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. <laughs> I love wine from Italy. I love Italian wine. Oh, mm. Y'all, that is refreshing. Mm mm mm. That is so good. Okay, let's see if I can pronounce this. Bravino. Bravino. I know you can't see it. Bravino Rosé. It is an extra dry, which I like extra dry. And if you don't know what it means, find a YouTube video for it. Okay, but I am drinking and I am drinking and planting. And so let's get started on the haul. I'm not, that's the fungus gnats. The war is real, okay? Got a project for them, for their little asses today. It's another video. Anyway, let's see what I got. I'm gonna start off with the supplies. So the first thing I picked up was some potting soil and this is Miracle Grow Cactus Palm and Citric. And I do like this particular plant. I'm not a real fan of Miracle Grow um, potting soil. But um, I do like this. This, it does, it's well drainage soil. And um, all, I use this for all of my cactus, succulents, and I don't have a lot of those. But I also use it for my corn stalk plants and a few others downstairs. And I got, also got, speaking of palms. Boom. Can you see this? This is Miracle Grow. I know I'm saying I ain't a big fan of Miracle Grow, but here I am with their products. Okay. But this is their um, shaken feed. Um, this is their shaken feed of uh, plant food. It contains magnesium, iron, and um, I like this. I like this for um, my palm-like plants and a few others. Like I, uh, corn stalk, I've shaken it, I just feed it like maybe twice a year on it, and that sucker didn't. It didn't stop growing at all. Not even during winter here so um yeah and I, I don't see why i should stop so yeah i'm gonna be using this now on to the plants oh that is so good okay so the second lows i went to i picked up on clarence this money tree plant and um it looks a little sad and they had money tree plants there for full price and I was like mm, this little guy here like there's you know like this stem here is it's actually broken and I felt bad for it because it's like look those leaves are really nice but someone actually broke the stem and, and that's really what's wrong with this it just has some broken stems 
Um, and because of the broken stems, it went to the clearance rack with some of his friends and they had three of them there and I checked them out and all of them literally had, it's like someone had dropped them or something. But the trunks looks good. I'm going to actually repot this with this cactus mix that I bought. So, yep, so here is the first plant. I think it'll be okay. I think it'll be okay. And that was at the second Lowe's I went to. At the first one, oh, <laughs> I picked this little um, gem fern up. Now, this is not the fern that I have on my wish list, but it was so cute. It's so cute. And I don't know if I can survive, um, keep this one alive. I really hope I can. Um, this is a medium light plant. Um, it's supposed to um, water when soil feels dry. So I'm assuming you'd let the soil dry out. Um, uh, fertilize every three months. I don't know. I'll look it up for some detailed information about it. But I just thought it was so cute. And I just, I really like the way the leaves look. And it was the only one there. And for less than $5, I said, why not? So, yep. So I guess you a good look at it. It's just really cool. I really like it. All right. Next. Y'all. Okay, y'all. I said I was not going to do this. I said it several times. I said, I'm done. I'm done. I'm not messing with this anymore. But on clearance, and this one looked rather healthy looking, I picked up a begonia. And I'm not sure what kind of begonia rex this is, um, but y'all look at the leaves. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. So I am also going to repot this. And I'm going to check out a bunch of your videos that tells me how to take care of this begonia. And we're going to do it again. We're going to try and save this begonia because a lot of people, videos who I watch, there's always a begonia in the background. Like Erica, she has this big old, she's sitting, and you know, I'm sitting on the floor because Erica sat on the floor and I was like, she looked comfortable and she pregnant. I ain't pregnant. But her begonia is just big, big leaf begonia sitting behind her, not all my eye draw to it. And I said I was done. Y'all, we're going to pray for me. We're going to pray for this plant. It's not the plant fault, it's my fault. So we're gonna get it together. So one begonia picked it up, rescued it from clearance. It was $3 at Lowe's, so yay. Now I haven't been to Home Depot in a while. I need to check that out, but not today. I'm, I'm in the house for the rest of the day. And finally, at Lowe's, <laughs> boom, y'all, boom. Boom, full price, no clearance. I just did a wish list and this plant was not on it because I have Santa variants and I love Santa variants, but I just never thought that I would come across uh, this one. And I think this one is called the Moonlight, the Moonlight um, Santa Varia. And it is so gorgeous. Look at that, look at that. And look at the color. I don't know if the camera's picking it up because the lighting, I don't have no professional lightings. This is probably the truest color right here that you can see. This is the color of this. And it's, of course it's in one of these pots, self-watering pots that I have to dig it out of. And y'all, it is drenched. Let's see if you can, let's see if you can catch it dripping. Yeah, y'all see that water? It is drenched with water. So of course I'm going to take it out of here. Um, um, probably we'll put it in some cactus um, potting soil too just because I think it's incredibly wet and uh, it's a Santa Varia and all of them are pretty much the same I think but yeah it's gorgeous and that's it that's the last one thank you guys for watching my goal today is to keep my videos under 10 minutes and I'm at well eight minutes and I'm at I'm over but we'll do some edit magic and goo. You guys haven't seen Ginger in a while, so I will include her in this video. Thank you so much for watching. Hey, see you next time for more drinking and planting. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Can you can you see her? She's upset. She's she's okay. She's gonna fuss at me. Oops. Let's get you here. Hi, Ginger. What's the matter? What, what you want? What, what, what do I need to do? You need to go pee?
You do you need to go pee? Yes. Okay, okay, girl. Okay, okay. So you want me to take you pee? Tell the people. Tell the people what you want. You want to go potty? Okay. <laughs> Break to take ginger potty. Bye.